Uh, ladies and gentlemen, a very good morning, a Tuesday, a new week that uh, we began yesterday, and uh, I see it's moving at a very high speed, that is life. Welcome to Roger Skaka Sungura YouTube channel. If you're watching this video and you haven't subscribed, kindly make sure you click the subscribe button and remember to turn on your notification bell. This is important because next time once I upload, YouTube is able to notify you <clears throat> automatically. Kaka, while I was away yesterday, a lot has happened in our political arena. And uh, the new headlines since yesterday evening to this morning regard the pleads for forgiveness from Mamangina and Uhuru Kenyatta. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, as much as you disagree, as politicians or, <clears throat> you know, Keka, all of us are growing in politics. As much as you disagree, never abuse your fathers and your forefathers. As much as you disagree, don't ever abuse a royal family. Royal families in countries have powerful political territories that you can never break. As much as they are out of power, they have political territories which no power can break. A royal family is a family, according to my understanding, is a family that has produced more than one, the same family that has produced more than one president. An inheriting family. A royal family. So the Kenyatta family is a royal family because Uhuru, uh, Uhuru Kenyatta, the son, inherited the presidency from the father. As much as it was not a direct transition, but he inherited. The father was the president and he also became the president. That qualifies to be a royal family. During the campaigns and after campaigns, those of you who follow me on this platform... I said very clearly that I'm giving regard the time. One day, one morning, one evening, he will come to regret why he abused Mamangina and the Kenyatta family. I spoke this when they invaded his Northland farm. I stood here, I sat here and told Rick G, you have abused the royal family. Mamangina is crying in church. Rigiji, get prepared. Those tears will come to haunt you. It is coming to pass. <laughs> the impact is now pushing Rigadi not only to say sorry, but to plead for forgiveness. Sio kusema tu nipole, a Ni kupiga magoti na kusema tafadhali ni samehe. I said kaka as much as I'm a young man, as much as I am not fit to advise Rigji. I told him, Rigji, listen. I am speaking from this platform. I don't know if you're watching. Please, keep yourself away from the Kenyatta family attacks. Keep yourself away from Raila Odinga attacks because time will come to teach you a lesson. It's not teaching him a lesson. Raila and uh, Ruto, wako kimoja. Rigija mepaki peke yake. Amejaribu mountain hakukariki. He has been forced to apologize to Mama Ngina so that he can find a way of... Um, Uniting the mountain. But after this analysis, my big question is, can Rigiji really unite the mountain? That is the question. By the end of this video, 
we will understand if indeed Rigi G is in a position to break or unite the mountain. While speaking at Inoro TV yesterday, Rigi G blamed the rankles, blamed the bad blood between him and Mamangina. Rigi G blamed them on bad politics. Now, my question comes in. Is Rigiji confirming to the public that they played dirty politics? Yeah, Amesema, and he was speaking in Nikakoyo. So the Kikuyus who listened to that interview, maybe you translate it to us. Rigiji was saying that last year, uh, not last year, 2022 general election, they had bad politics. So, is Gashawa telling Kenyans that they played dirty politics which enabled them to ascend to power? When Raina tells you these people stole votes, you couldn't understand. When Raina told you these people are evil, you couldn't understand. Rigiji is now speaking to Kenyans in a language that all of us understand. Though he spoke in Gikuyu, but he spoke in a language that we are able to translate. We had bad politics. That's what he said, actually. We had bad politics. <laughs> the tears of Mamangina are coming to haunt Rigiji in a very serious way. And this is what Rigiji said. And I want to quote. I want to read how this message was translated. I am sorry for involving Mamangina Kenyatta in the last general election politics. She is our mother. I therefore ask for forgiveness on behalf of our team for any inconveniences caused to her. I therefore will never allow anyone to demean her or anyone from our region. That is Rick G who said yesterday. Now, come back to my big question. Can Nigashawa unite the mountain? All of us know that I, I have warned this several and said, Gashawa cannot manage to unite the mountain because the position he has, he robbed it. The DP position that Rigji is operating from was meant Kwamtu Mungine. That was a position meant for Kidure Kindiki. But because of some bad blood and some dirty politics which he said, Rigji robbed the position from Kindiki. Gashawa proved to be a destructor instead of a builder. Rigiji was used to demolish the mountain. Rigiji was used to sell the only house that the mountain had, Jubilee, to strangers, Kenya Kwanza. So Rigiji was, little did he know that these things will come to haunt him later. Riki jari tumi wabibaya kuvunja mulima. Riki jari tumi wabibaya kumtusi mamangina. Riki jari tumi wabibaya kumtusi urtua next time of attacking his farm. Riki jari proved to be a destructor instead of a builder. He proved to be incompetent. There is a saying in our mother tongue, Ekegusi. When a child is young, the parents always tell this young man, Kinovirore Okagembinde. That is in our mother tongue, Ekegusi. When a young boy tries to misbehave around, you just tell him, Yeah. Young man, Kinovirore Okagembinde. This can easily be translated to English as you telling your son, 
just grow up and see if these things make sense to you when you grow up. <laughs> Rikiji is now growing politically. The things he was doing in 2022 are not making sense in 2024 at all. They are not making sense. The attacks he used to hold to the Kenyatta family are not making sense at all now. Kinovirore Okagembinde. Gasha was grown. When Gasha was thought abuses are the ones which can build him politically. He is now growing and realizing, oh no, 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 no. These things are not supposed to work this way. You see? Rikiji was so proud. He was walking tall by that time, all over political rallies, attacking, abusing, and demolishing the Kenyatta family. But now he's realizing, oh no, 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 no. I made a mistake. Kinovirore Okagembinde. Ricardi thought the abuses would set him. Ricardi thought the abuses will kill the impact of the political territories of the Kenyatta family. He thought so. But little did he know those were things of... Eh? How, how can I call them? Yani, the Bible tells me, Kaka, when I was young, I could reason like a kid. But I am now a grown-up. I must reason like a grown-up. Biblia <laughs> inasema kuna mambo nilikuwa ninafanya nikiwa mtoto ya kiutoto. Sasa nimekuwa mtu mkubwa na mambo ninayoyafanya ni ya ukubwa. Na yale niliyokuwa nayafanya nikiwa mtoto bado nayaona kwamba ni mambo hayana maana katika maisha yangu kwa sababu wakati hule nilikuwa nafikiria kama mtoto. So twawarigji tunajua wakati ule ulikuwa unafikiria kama mtoto kisiasa sasa una, umeanza kukua umeanza kutafuna umeanza kumea meno umeanza kukoma you are now realizing that in 2022 you used to reason like a kid and yes you were political kid but now that you are growing you are beginning to reason like a grown up and indeed you will grow but it's too late My last question is Will Ngina and Uhuru Kenyatta forgive Rigji? That is the big question. As much as he's asking for forgiveness, will Uhuru Kenyatta and Mama Ngina stand in public and say Rigji, I forgive you my son. Like Rigji stood and abused Ngina. I am waiting for a day Ngina will stand in church again. Remember when Gashawa abused Mama Ngina? Mama Ngina alienda kanisani the following Sunday. Na akalia machozi. Akawauliza, "Mbona mnaniingiza katika mambo ya siasa? Why? I am not a politician. I am just a mother to Uhuru Kenyatta. Why involve me in your petty politics?" So I'm waiting a day that Ngina will stand in public one day and tell Gashawa You ask me for forgiveness my son? I forgive you. But then will she do so? That is the riddle that we are waiting for. God bless you ladies and gentlemen. See you in the next video. Asante ni sana.